kuna watu ndani ya serikali ambao wako na devil worshiper take me how you want kuna watu kwa government wako na devil worshiper ni ma devil worshiper wakipita hapa wanaumia na hii kanisa i saw before god tutawaonyesha sema amen na mtajua kama ni sisi maana mtatupeleka kotini itafanyika mjui kama ni sisi mambo ni gapi gapi who could be the mastermind behind the recent fights involving churches along Haile Selassie Avenue owned by Pastor Nganga and Bishop Margaret Wanjiru is the president involved is the parliament also suspected to be involved in this fight or is it just the ESCC targeting these individuals ESCC is currently reclaiming some parcels of land holding these churches among other lands in Nairobi according to the ESCC these lands were illegally acquired and they seek to have the title deeds revoked effectively transferring ownership to the right owners Adding a twist to the narrative, the current head of the ESCC is a former bishop who served in a prominent church in the country. While some anticipated the bishop to show favoritism towards his fellow clergymen, his recent actions demonstrate a commitment to impartiality. Could Bishop Oginde possess knowledge about this land that the public is unaware of? Let's find out. A pastor Nganga who has been outspoken about the land on which his church sits alleges that those involved in the dispute are government officials closely associated with the president. He believes that these individuals who he believes are within the government aim to portray the president as an enemy of the church despite the president's Christian affiliation and Pastor Nganga's personal friendship with him and his wife. Pastor Nganga finds it hard that the president would target his land. Na muombe hii nchi yetu ya Kenya. Sababu nchi yetu ya Kenya ni nzuri lakini sasa imeingia kwa watu wabaya. These people they don't respect the church. If there is something to demolish the church, call the church discuss privately for the to lakini kuja na matinga mbomoe iko kwa there is something wrong somewhere hmm? hapa kuna kitu ayedi vizuri na mimi nafikiri wale wakubwa hawajui hizo habari kuna watu wako kwa government wanachochea kanisa na serikali sasa ndio kanisa na your excellency unisikilize hiyo you are my friend Something is wrong in the government. Kuna watu ndani wametengeneza jama, wanajipendekeza kwa rais lakini huko wanaharibia serikali jina. Umeelewa? Wanafanya kitu ndani ndani. Serikali haina na hii kiwaja. Haina na kama ingetaka kiwaja hii serikali inakuja iniite niambie nganga tunataka hivi na hivi tukupatie bilioni bili. Ununuo kwa kiwaja hapa hivi ujenge. Hii ni sawa hiyo tu. Unajenga nini? project ABCD lakini kuja na matiga na kuja kunitisha it's not the real government is sira is nice mimi namjua is my friend if you don't know is my friend kama ujui ni kwambie leo mke wa rais huyu yuko wakati wa kohegi alikuja kwa gu mara nne sawa so nakwambia hiyo leo mimi nikamwombea rais wakiwa hiki kwa hivyo rais na rais anajua ni rafiki yangu kama ujui ni rafiki yangu kwa hivyo hizi mambo ninaomba zifikie rais kwa sababu kuna watu wanachochea wanachochea ndio kuonekane uhasama kwa kanisa na government ni juice tumetoka kanisa ni serikali ni ya kanisa si tumetoka hapa nyayo si tulikuwa hapo sisi zote watu wa serikali tulikuwa hapo wale wa opposition uliwaona uliwaona hawakuja kwa hivyo tulikuwa pale sote kanisa. Wahubiri wote tulikuja pale tukapiga magoti tukaoba. How it comes one week imepita tu then 
somebody kuna watu ndani ya serikali ambao wako na devil worshiper if that isn't enough pastor nganga went ahead and released an impending curse on these government officials some of whom hold positions in parliament and the government he declared that some will face dire consequences for their actions including severe illnesses such as hiv and aids and encounters with violence and unexplained ailments resistant to medical treatment kuna watu kwa government wako na devil worshiper ni ma devil worshiper wakipita hapa wanaumia na hii kanisa i saw before god tutawaonyesha sema amen na mtajua kama ni sisi maana mtatupeleka kotini itafanyika mjui kama ni sisi mambo ni gapi gapi mambo ni gapi mawili tu simeisha na Daudi hajuko hapa anyogwe majinyonge sasa ukiona wameingia kwa dege ichomeke ukiona driver ameigisa dawali kwa hiyo ukiona bodyguard ameshikwa risasi amempiga ukiona ameshikwa na ukimwi sababu hapo hapo tu roho wa bwana atawachezea karata eh alo mungu ni mjanja eh atutakosa rahabu ataenda hapo asugumuze sisi tupite lakini ole wako Yesu anasema hivi atakaye mfanya huyu mmoja akopotese imani afugwe jiwe kwa shingo atupwe baharini we unajua mgetavuka lika yenu ndio mgejua ni pasta yuko hapa chini sasa wewe na unajua hiyo hiyo kile kitawapata mtajaribu kwenda idia mwende wapi na haitawezekana sababu Mungu huyu amekasirika eh salimia mtu mwambie wachana na mimi na mwambie usinitaje tena mwambie usitaje jina langu mimi ni kisirani Meanwhile on the other side the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission EACC maintains its stance that private developers unlawfully seized these lands. Eric Ngumbi the spokesperson for the EACC confirms that the commission has initiated legal actions with four separate cases aimed at reclaiming five parcels of lands valued at 1.6 billion Kenyan shillings. At the pieces of land sit at the intersection of Haile Selassie Avenue and Uhuru Highway and are purportedly originally allocated to the Kenya Railways Corporation. Defendants in these legal proceedings include private entities and former commissioners of land along with the Neno Evangelism Center registered trustee Apostle James Mainanganga. at 680 limited and cobil petroleum limited or rather rubis energy now pastor nganga and the neno evangelism are being sued concerning parcels number 209 stroke 9640 and number 209 stroke 12361 valued at 480 million kenyan shillings and 30 million respectively In November 2023, Kenya Railways Corporation filed a lawsuit against Neno Evangelism registered trustees and three others with the EACC named as an interested party. Both KRC and EACC claim a messy profit of 500 million having utilized the land for 25 years. It appears that the EACC through its former bishop is resolved to secure victory in the case leaving pastor nganga and bishop margaret wanjiru with little choice but to comply with their terms but the big question is do you think pastor nganga will let his land go will he really allow the eacc to come and take the land from him what are your thoughts leave your thoughts on our comment section that is it for now thanks for watching let's me next time bye bye